In this video, we're going to test and review the two trees as scale one. Okay, as you guys know, I really love testing 3D printers and I print foaming filaments. For me, printing with foam, foaming filaments is to keep the parts lightweight, uh, a good adhesion, layer adhesion, uh, fast, really fast non-printing movements, so you, get, you will get rid of the poops and the stringing. And I really want to fast, have fast prototyping uh, projects. So I want, yeah, when I'm in my workshop, I don't want to lose time on printing time. So with the, together with the bamboo lab and the two trees, I really hope that we can print really, really fast. So let's test it out. As you can see, uh, one of my uh, requirements is fast non-printing movements. You can easily set this up with preset slicer, but as you can see, I, it is clean. This is really easy to move about by hand, but I really love it. So as a comparison, I also printed the same part with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And you can see the same results. So actually, yeah, if you look at those, they are almost copied, but the price is really good from this printer. Uh, I really, I'm, I, I have to be honest, I'm a big fan of Bamboo Lab, but two trees, I have to admit, they did a really good job fixing this. So there is one more test I really want to do because this two trees claims to be uh, fast. So let's try some PLA parts. Oh, by the way, before I start peeling, I can remove this. They already added a pack. So, wow, that went uh, really easy. So this one is the two trees. So let me mark that. So let's write somewhere the B. This is two trees and this one is B from Bump. Okay, let's test weight. So this is the B from Bamboo Lab. This part is 62 grams. And the two trees part, 63 grams. I can live with that. But I have to sand and remove all this poops, let's say. In terms of stability, I used uh, both for the same settings. So this is um, one outer layer and 4% info because this is a big airplane and I want to have some stability. And if you look at the surface, yeah. Oh, by the way, I had to change filament on this port, so I have to put them past. That's why you see some difference, but overall, I'm happy about the surface quality. Again, the bamboo lab. And the two trees. Let's see if we can get any closer, but yes. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Good job, two trees. So while unloading, um, this two trees Esco one has a big nice touchscreen. 
Um, also, it got a nice Wi-Fi connection, so you can actually connect this uh, printer to the Bamboo Studio. But for this printer, I prefer Prusa Slicer. Uh, all the settings came with the USB stick. Um, so, my first test was to print it with foam and filaments. This is really important for my projects. So now we're going to use the 2.3's PLA to see how fast it can print and if we can compare it with the Bamboo Lab. Until now, I have to admit, I'm very, very happy. It would be nice if the 2.3's got some side covers, but um, in this case, it doesn't matter. So let's change the filament and start a fast print. By the way, this is also really nice. So when you slide in the new filament and when you are getting, when you're approaching the nozzle, let's, they build in a really nice feature. See, now you reached the spool and now it's going to start loading. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Filament is loaded. So we go to folder. Uh, let me see. USB. And we go to the test gear frame. And let's go. The bed calibration is also similar to the Bamboo Lab, which I really like. So it maps the complete heated bed. Nice. Okay, I'm super, super surprised by the non-printing fast movements. This is really, really nice. I really love this. So we're building up now the first layer. And uh, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, <laughs> I am impressed. Look at it. It is fast. Wow. This is not a high speed record. This is live, but wow. Okay, this printer is fast. Unbelievable fast. So, 
The next step is to check the quality when it's finished. They can be fast, but I want good quality two trees. So let's wait a sprint until now. It looks pretty, pretty good, and I'm amazed already. Foaming filaments check from Colifab. Now normal PLA for my front landing gear, and I really need these parts today to finish this video. Okay. Okay, and also the quality is quite good. So I'm quite happy about the speed and about the quality. So let's install it. Okay, let me tell you something about my front landing gear about from the F25. So we are using very skilled detail parts. Uh, this will fit the A version and the B version. So the prototypes I will use on the B version because the B version is quite heavy. And if it survives the B version, then I will implement it in the A version. And I will, after this, I will uh, CNC cut all the parts to make it uh, out of aluminium. So I really love my concept. So we got a, uh, a JP um, linear actuator. We got uh, resin printed parts from the form labs. And um, yeah, let's turn it on. This works quite amazing. Here you go. And opening it. Here you see actually the steering mechanism. So this works also quite well. And now it's fully locked. So the linear actuator also pushed this pivot over here. And this will push the drag brace downwards. It cannot tilt more than 180 degree. It's super, super stiff and super, super strong. Yes. Amazing. Great job, two trees. Happy with this fast prototyping past parts. So about the review about the two trees Esca, I'm really, really happy. So for me, it's really important to have fast non-printing movements for lightweight PLA. And for prototyping parts that you just saw for the landing gear, that it can print um, filaments quite fast, just like the bamboo lab. So with two of these fast printers in my workshop, we can build some really amazing things. So all the links and descriptions and uh, discount codes are all in the description. 
um, and just yeah judge by yourself by buying one okay guys see you in the next one